Okay, I think we're recording. I get exactly one shot to do this, so let's hope I don't goof it up. We will go out to our motherboard manufacturer's website, which is an ASRock B550 M Pro. have a look at this and here we are this supports AM4 socket Ryzen 3000 4000 5000 uh, desktop processors I have no idea what that means I bought an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 so that I guess falls under the 3000 uh, but that's not how one numbers work but there you go and Martin has bought a AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, which has just a fantastic CPU benchmark. And you're having problems with lockups. So if we take a look at the support and bias, uh, you know, we bought these in like 2021. Uh, they came out with or they came to us with this version 1.2.0 BIOS. That's what I have. Uh, if we look at uh, this, there's an asterisk here. Uh, oh, not compatible with AMD Athlon processors, so that's not what I needed to know. Uh, so they started adding support for Ryzen 5000 G series processors, uh, which you have. Uh, so this, uh, which we both have. So. Oh no, I only have the Ryzen 5 3600. So you you have a 5000. I'm, I'm, I might get a new one, but we're gonna we're gonna put this on and see if it works. So we'll get this instant flash, and what do we have to do? We have to extract the zip file, save the BIOS files in a FAT32 formatted USB disk. Press F2 during post to get into the BIOS setup menu, and select the instant flash utility under the tool menu to execute okay where do I download the file that's the procedure oh the files over here so we're gonna go with 340 uh, which was released in January of this year not the one that was released in March because it's a beta I don't know if any of this is going to work. The last time I tried to do this, I bricked the motherboard. So let's go global. Read the description to say it on the BIOS download page before updating the BIOS. We do not recommend users update the BIOS if the system is already running normally. Uh, so this is uh, the 123 support Ryzen 5000 GPU series processors, and it requires an update with the Matisse, Renoir, or Vermeer. Okay, we're, we're gonna say okay. I don't know what that means. So let's let's take a look at that quick. When did Google start hating Wikipedia? All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. No, that's a thermal solution. That doesn't say Matisse, Renoir, or Vermeer. Okay. Which one sounds cooler? I'm going to say Matisse. Oh, 3000 series, Zen 2 based. Okay, so then what is a Vermeer? Uh, we'll go in order. Renoir, 4000 series. All right, I'm just throwing out here, if you just use the damn name of the stupid chip, I wouldn't... Oh, look, 5000 series, Send 3 based. Okay, so uh, using a slide rule... Uh, this is for 3,000, 4,000, or 5,000 
series chips. Thank God. Did I push the download button yet? Let's try again. Okay, something happened. Oh, I've got a zip file. All right, so according to this, save the BIOS forms on a FAT32 partition drive. What have I got here? I've got a drive that is FAT32 partitioned. Sounds hostile when I say it. Why am I saying FAT? All right, downloads. There you are. And we're going to... This is something I... Oh, there we go. Scan with Defender. Good old Microsoft Defender. Two files, zero threats found. Okay. Let's have a look at it. I'm not sure what the file is, but okay. Or where two files are found, so let's grab that. BM550 MP430, and we're going to place that here. Oh, yeah, totally bricked that last computer with this exact same uh, USB drive trying to update the BIOS. Had to buy a new motherboard. Good times. I've got the old motherboard sitting in a box on a shelf. I should try and sell that or throw it away or do something with it. All right, so we have done that. Press F2 and find the file. All right. Pressing F2, like my life depends on it. There are no lights on the keyboard. Okay. So here we at. Uh, there's my B550M Pro 4, my Ryzen 5 3600. Now I am supposed to, I, I'm cheating, I have notes up on the other screen. Under the tool menu, okay, so we're going to tool. And the instant flash. And it sees that file, that's the one I gave it. And I'm gonna hit update. Sure. Now we just have to be patient and hope that this works. I can't take it. I'm turning it off. Uh, I'm a little tired, so I kept hitting the side of the house and trying to break my sighting, so I kept swearing at the house. But I, I think that's more a me thing than a house thing. Yeah. Been there, done that. All right. So I will see you in an hour, and we will see where we're at. Okay. All right. Talk soon. Bye. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. I'm just going to take the Batman branded USB drive. And this will be sitting out on a tote in the breezeway for you if this works. If it doesn't work, then it'll be sending it under the tote. It worked! Well, let's see what happens with Windows. So once again, if it comes up and I get into Windows, this will be sitting out on the tote. You hit F2, you go into Tools, you do the thing, it comes up and maybe Maybe your motherboard just starts working and you don't have weird random crashes anymore. Don't watch my hands while I'm typing. But I think that this means I might need a newer CPU. 
since I, I have done this. I might have to update that. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit, and uh, that is all I know. Talk to you soon.